Hello, I'm Davy Graham. I am the general manager of the Dremore Workshop. I've been involved in the refurbishment business of machines this last 34 years and have been in the Dremore premises here as a general manager for this last 12 years. Uh, the Dremore Workshop was built in 2013. It has 16 loading bays and it has the capacity to hold anything up to 20 to 30 machines and um, so we do anything from sandblasting to spraying to detailing and polishing um, machines for the auction and for the customers for the sales reps and we've been kept very busy here so let's take you for a wee walk and round the Dremore workshop so this job here is um, these machines these small tractors rotavators are consigned in to the auction so we reassemble them and get them prepared for the auction. Likewise, if a machine is bought on the auction, we can dismantle it and get it packaged and out into a container worldwide wherever it goes. So these machines here are being uh, all put together, ready for to go into a container to another auction site that we have. We do that occasionally. Uh, sometimes we have to improvise and for example this machine was going to be too high to put into a container so we have to take the wheels off and make up our own sort of homemade wheels so we had to be a wee bit um, inventive and creative and in order to get the machine into the actual container. So this machine has come in kind of last minute but she'll make the auction okay. Uh, she has come in with a few bent panels so in some cases the panels will be straightened and repaired and in other cases the panels will have to be um, replaced. We find in this department if you spend a little here you have a huge profit on the other side when it goes over the ramp on the day of the auction. So in here we have the blast room. Um, so basically what this is, uh, this is the blaster, the garnet comes out through this nozzle this is what's known as the dead man so when this is pushed the garnet comes out or the grit comes out and um, so it's basically known as the dead man is because if it's faulty and something goes wrong here a man could end up dead that's how dangerous a piece of equipment that is so you'll see the way it blasts the whole inside of the machine there it blasts the whole rust and corrosion and all off and um, we blast with this material which is known as garnet um, sand, there is people call it sand blasting, but sand blasting was actually made illegal because sand, when it's blasted, produces a chemical called silica, which is highly cancerous. So we use that material um, so it's safe and it complies with all the health and safety regulations. So this is our paint mixing system that we have. We can mix a range of anything to 27,000 different colours depending on which machine that we're working on with various different colors that we can use so for example if it was a Hitachi orange and the machine had aged over a, say a five or ten year period we could put a small tint of paint of a tinter into the paint just to give it that small hint whenever we do spray the new color so that it marries in with the rest of the machine so the two colors look the same basically it's not like a new patch on an old pair of jeans. So this is our spray boot department. This we forklift has been prepared for our own Dremore auction and he's just doing a few finishing touches off with the spray in here at the moment. So that'll be that job out and finished and then for the Dremore auction. This is our main spray booth and um, these machines here have been blasted and blew down and now the guys are just dismantling a few bits off. There'll be three or four hours prep work and the machines then will be masked, undercoated and spread. We normally do two at a time if we can just to try to increase the volume just basically so that for time um, if we do two at a time it's an awful lot faster. Plus we'll have the facilities, we'll have the size so we'll just try to make the most out of the facility that we have here. On some of these machines come out to other countries in order to meet uh, 
quarantine legislation, uh, this is something that we have to consider a lot, um, especially going to, for example, this machine is going to Australia. Um, the machines have to basically go over a pit and get an intense wash um, in around the engine, gearbox and everywhere at all to make sure that it meets the quarantine standards. So this is our detail department, uh, Zoltan, our professional detailer. So basically this machine has been respread now, Zoltan will go around the machine, put all the original decals on the machine. We do all the mud flaps, slick up the tires, re-grease the machine, make sure all our uh, levels, oil, water, diesel, everything's good and all the small attention to detail stickers just to make sure to keep the machines, even though they're respread, to try to have them that they have that appearance that they're still original and have that original appearance with them. The most common machine that we would put through the workshop would be the Hitachi. In percentage terms, probably 60 or 70 percent of the machines coming through here would be the Hitachi. Fair enough, this is a 30 ton. The most common one being around the 12 or 20 ton. The most common thing on these would be, for example, this machine, we have spread the back ballast on it and what's known as the sills and blasted and painted the undercarriage and again detailed with the, all the original stickers and stuff back on or the decals. We try to give it that, even though it has been respread or partially spread, just to try to give it that original appearance. This machine here, turnaround basis, that's an average three, six, seven ton machine that has got a partial respray. The turnaround in that is usually in around about three days from start to finish. So anywhere up to we have one of them before a week before an auction, we'll have a turn around and going over the ramp on the day of the auction. <laughs> 